You going out now? Yes. It's the annual dinner of the Statistical Society, of which you know I am a patron. I have agreed to give a speech. I suppose Lady Lovelace will be there. I have no idea. If you would excuse me, I believe that punctuality is the politeness of princes. Albert. I don't want you to go to dinner. Is that a command? The prince is currently too busy. Tell him I insist. Your Royal Highness, if I may. The prince said to ask you if that was an order, ma'am. Victoria. I tried to tell you last night. But you ignored my messages. Well, you, you should have made it clearer. Well, you should have come back when I asked. Instead, you left me at home with your father and Uncle Leopold. So, so you went to, to Brock at all? It seems a long way to go in your condition. I needed some advice. And yet your Prime Minister is here in London. I did not go there to talk about politics. Are oh, you so naive that you do not realize that everything you do is political? And what did you do today, Albert? I went to the Royal Society. And are you so naive that you think everything you do there is mathematical? Where are you going? I need to get out of this corset. I need to breathe. Do you remember kissing me here before we were married? Of course, I remember. Everything was simpler then. I want to say I'm sorry. I think I've imagined things that were not there. Albert, to have your child. It's just, it's, oh, it's so soon. It's so soon after Vicky. I understand. Do you? Do you, Albert? I didn't spend all those years in Kensington shut up in a nursery only to be confined into another one. Victoria, I do not want to confine you. I know. I want to be your wife, Albert, as well as a mother. I want you. You have me. And you will always be my beloved. <laughs> 